<laughs> Hello guys, an Evil Snowman here, back with another guide to Dota 2, this time covering Draw Ranger. Draw Ranger is a ranged agility carry with good ganking potential, thanks to her long silence and very consistent slow. With a relatively straightforward move set of abilities, the draw is very easy to start off with, but still rewards more skilled players. Frost Arrow is a targeted ability, which slows an enemy movement speed by 50% for 1.5 seconds to heroes and 7 seconds to creeps at level 4. This is an orb effect and each arrow costs 12 mana. It's also worth noting that the slowing effect of successive arrows do not stack with each other, and that this ability can be toggled to autocast. Silenced is exactly what it says in the tin. Silence in all enemy units in a targeted area for 6 seconds at level 4, preventing them from casting. This costs 90 mana and has a cooldown of 15 seconds. True Shot Aura is a passive ability that gives a straight up 28% bonus to physical damage to all allied units within a 900 radius. This bonus damage is calculated from the unit's base damage plus the increase from their primary attribute, but not from raw damage items. Draw's Ultimate Marksmanship is another passive ability that gives a straight bonus of 15 agility to herself for each point that it is skilled. Nice and simple. When it comes to the skill build for Drew Ranger, she starts off where she ends up, taking stats at level 1 and 4, then leaving them alone to 18 to 25. After that, max Frost Arrow first, taking it at 2, 3, 5 and 7, then picking up Silence next at 8, 9, 10 and 12, followed by True Shot Aura at 13, 14, 15 and 17. Of course, with an ult as good as Drew's, you should be taking it whenever it is available, at 6, 11 and 16. Rural Ranger will normally be played mid lane, trying to get as much farm as quickly as possible. Since she's a ranged hero, you shouldn't have too much trouble doing this. Starting off, you should take 3 slippers of agility and a healing salve just to keep you in lane for as long as possible. Pick up an iron branch and then turn your 2 slippers into a poor man's shield as soon as possible. Then grab a magic wand, pick up your power treads next and feel free to sell your slippers as you'll be doing it sooner or later anyway. Next, work towards a Yasha, then pick up a Crystallis, then get a Shadow Blade to help you escape from any sticky situations you get in. Then you should start upgrading your items, Crystallis to a Daedalus. If you're playing Draw Ranger, you will be the carry for your team, so start farming. With 3 slippers of agility, you shouldn't have too much trouble last hitting, however, try not to push your lane at the same time. Feel free to harass whoever you're laying against as much as possible, but remember that toggling your frost arrow on will eat through your mana like a pudge at a buffet. In the mid game you'll be trying to strike a balance between farming and ganking. Although Dro is a great ganker, she's an even better carry in the late game, so be prepared for this and start working through your item build as efficiently as possible. Only commit to ganks when you're sure you can make the kill and avoid trying to run back to your fountain as much as possible, whether this is a result of dying or having to go back for regen or to get your items. Use your courier. In the late game, your time has truly come. Stick with your team, push lanes and take names. Prioritise heroes over structures. If you have a Daedalus, you should kill them in no more than 5 hits anyway. When in a team fight, don't be too greedy and waste your silence trying to hit 3 enemies. You'll more than likely miss all of them. As I said in the introduction, Drew is a great hero to start off with, and very fun to play. However, this guide is just a basic guideline. Please feel free to deviate from this as much or as little as possible. Dota is a very situational game and things can change on a game by game basis. Thanks very much for watching this guide. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe, like and favourite down below, and comment on anything you think I should change, or perhaps it might be of use to anyone else watching this guide. I'm an evil snowman, and I'll see you in the next video.